And literally, I am so obsessed with this mug. Oh my god! It's got a little sun on it with a face! Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kinsey. If you did not know that, now you know. And you guys, today we're going to be playing, testing, trying out a bunch of new stuff. I've got the new Norvina 4 palette. I've got the Norvina liners right here. I've got a new liquid blush and highlight. And I got just a lot of good things to try out today. I'm super duper excited. So we're going to jump in. I'm not going to waste any time today. Shocking. <laughs> And if you're new to this channel, then hello, I'm so happy to have you. Don't forget you can click the subscribe button to become part of this weird, awesome makeup family. And with that being said, let's jump on in. I'm so freaking weird. Okay. Let's get started. Oh, how is everyone? How are you doing? Are you having a good day? Are you having a good week? I hope so. I hope you're having a wonderful day slash week. I hope that your time has just been wonderful. I'm super excited. Let me tell you why. So I've got a couple of things coming in the mail. Oh, you're fine. I love how I turned all the way around the other way. I could have just done this. <laughs> but I decided to go all the way around. I got big brain. That's that gamer brain. <laughs> big brain. I've got a couple things coming in the mail that I am so excited about. So one of them, uh, I actually already have it, I'm using it right now, it is this mug that I got. So basically on Urban Outfitters, I, I did not realize how cute of like a homeware section they had, like a homeware, kitchen section, it is all literally adorable. And I'm getting more and more obsessed with Urban Outfitters every day, it's nuts. So basically, this mug I found on there, but it's a pour over set. You know like a Chemex, have you ever seen a Chemex before? I'll have one popped up right here so you can see. But basically a Chemex is just another way to make coffee. Not like I need any other ways to make coffee, goodness. It was really, really, really cute and I bought it because I didn't want, because a Chemex apparently is a um, one for if you want to make like a whole batch of coffee. And I don't do that, I just make coffee individually, so just for whenever I want coffee. Uh, so I didn't want to have to get an entire Chemex just to do a single serving of coffee each time. So I got one like this and this is a single pour over like amount. <laughs> I'm obsessed with it. But we're gonna jump into the new Norvina palette. This is the Volume 4. I haven't used this on my eyes, but I have swatched two of the shades, namely these two glitters right down here and here is what the palette looks like it looks really really beautiful i genuinely do like purples and pinks and stuff like that so basically i'm i want to use this palette and then i want to use this right here uh, again spoiler alert i already used the red shade which actually does end up leaning more pink because uh, it's water activated you can see that right there i did use that but the other ones i have not used this is the yellow one and they are vibrant honey let me tell you maybe we'll just okay maybe I'll use yellow in the inner crease or not in the uh, inner corner I had no idea I am literally just talking out of my butt right now I got no clue let's just start <laughs> I do want to use this shade called E2 maybe I need a glitter glue for this I got one from Anastasia right here and I'll try this out if I can't get it to stick just with um, my finger I'll try the glitter glue on top so I'm going to go in first with this shade right here called D1 just as a base it is D1, right? Yeah, D1, just as a base, just something to lay down. I'm actually going to make the eye look pretty simple because I do want to use that crazy winged liner, that colorful liner. So we're not gonna do anything too crazy to the eyes. It does have a lot of kick up, but I think a lot of Anastasia palettes do nowadays. So uh, on Monday, I should be getting a few goodies. So Monday, I'm getting this set that I ordered from an Instagram website uh, or Instagram page. So basically, uh, Nicole Concilio did her Sephora haul and she was wearing a tie-dye set that she got from the exact same uh, Instagram page and she said their name and I thought it was such a cool set so I DM'd them and I was like, hey, can I have that same set? But I got mine in a crop top instead of a crew neck because I am obsessed with crop tops. But I got the crop top and, you know, pants, like with the, the pants, and it is soaked in bleach and they look so, so freaking cool and I can't wait. I should be getting those on Monday. And then I ordered um, this Freck stuff. You know how everyone is using the Freck to do like faux freckles? Yep, I ordered that as well because I literally 
love the faux freckled look and I really want to play with it myself and do it myself. So I got that, but they had a pre-order going on that was uh, the exact same price as the smaller freck and they have one that's in like a larger size. It's like the freck XL or whatever, but um, I'm just, I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun and do faux freckles all the time. Come here my love, why do you look so sad? She needs a bath so bad and there was a day to where I forgot that I had lipstick on and um, I kissed her directly on the forehead. Are you okay? I'm putting that E2 shade all over my lid because it's beaut beautiful. I'm gonna go in with this right here. This is the uh, ABH Norvina uh, eyeliner collection. I'm gonna use this green. These are water activated, so I did get like a little thing of little thing of water right here. I actually did use the red last night. It kind of looks more pink, but I did use it and I really liked it. So I I'm, I hope I'm liking this green as well. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so cool. I feel like this wing's a little wonky. I need to go fix that. This is why I love doing my eyes first. So if I mess up, I can just wipe it off and already do it without having, without messing up my foundation. <laughs> there we go. That's what I wanted. I actually freaking love this. They're not super even, but it could be worse. Use a little bit of this fourth ray beauty spray. Because we are going to move on to the face. And I never actually used this. This is the uh, Tarte Base Tape Hydrating Primer. I got this in a boxy charm not too long ago. And I totally forgot that I had it. And I never used it. So I'm going to use it in this video today. Did I use it? I don't remember if I did or not. I have no idea. Another thing that I'm super, super excited about is that I haven't actually ordered this yet and I'm gonna try to, but I don't know if I'll, you know, be the first one. So there is this Instagram account that makes and sells Juju Gardens. <laughs> so basically, I learned about them from Kathleen because Kathleen has one from them and it's so cool. Their Instagram, uh, Tara, Tira Villa, I don't know, Tira, right here that one and this is the one that I this is the one that I like and basically they go live at 2 p.m. my time 3 p.m. Eastern so that's when they go live and it's basically the first one to comment sold is who gets it so I hope I have my alarm set and I really hope I'm able to snag that and pick that up because it would look so pretty with the entertainment system I really really like that idea or if it doesn't look good there I can put it on my desk like while I work and have like whole juju garden it's gonna be really great and I'm very excited about it. But another thing is that I actually ordered and I've never, okay you guys, this is gonna be the first one of these that I've ever gotten in my life because I didn't think that I would ever need one. But I ordered an Apple Watch. <laughs> So basically, um, with my carrier, I'm with Verizon, so uh, with my carrier, I can add it on, add it on to my plan. It's like 20 bucks a month, and then the line access is $10. Um, so I really, really, really wanted to try one out. So basically, I was watching a bunch of, so okay, let me back up. So what started this, I was watching a video from Marquez, uh, Marquez Brownlee. He does like tech reviews and you know phone reviews and Apple reviews and everything if you're if you like tech stuff at all if you've been around the tech side of YouTube then you probably heard his name Marquez and I was watching one of his videos he was actually going over the new Apple watch series 5 and I was like oh man that looks so cool and I was just like you know what maybe it's time for me to try one of these out because like now I can get notifications you know from my parents when they message me um, I can even chat with Rab I can message him and talk to him through the watch, through like WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger, and I just, if there's a time to when I don't have my phone, it's not gonna matter. I just, I genuinely think it was a good time to try to find one of these and try to get one. So I found the one that I wanted. I got it from Verizon. Well, I actually ordered it from Best Buy and I got it put on like Verizon's account, like our account. And I am 
so excited about it. I cannot wait. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Cream Bronzer. I am obsessed with this liner. Like, so obsessed with it. I love it. So, that's not coming in the mail, but on Friday, I should be able to go pick it up from Best Buy. Hopefully, they get them in a little sooner. Maybe I can go on, like, Monday or Tuesday and pick it up. I have no idea. But, if not, then it will be available on Friday for me to go and pick it up, because I've already bought it. But, I'm so excited. If you already have an Apple Watch, please let me know what you think, because I'm still doing, like, so much research research I'm still doing so much research in it and trying to like understand if it's something that I'm really going to get a lot of use out of because I just I, I think I will like I genuinely think I will but I need to no one else that I know has an Apple watch like my mom doesn't have one my dad doesn't have one my dad doesn't even use an Apple phone so I don't know anyone that has an Apple Watch. So if you have one and if you have any tips and tricks, if you have any like stories to tell me, please let me know because I, uh, I want to know all of that. I got this new blush from Grande Cosmetics. I saw Kathleen use this exact blush on one of her more Monday night makeup sessions and I thought it was really, really, I thought it was really pretty. So I wanted to pick it up and try it myself. I actually got the blush and the highlight. I got them from Ulta. Here's what the packaging looks like. It just says Grande Pop and it's a plumping liquid blush. Very, very cute. And I got I got this in the shade Sweet Peach. It's, ooh, that's actually really pretty. I'm sure you could use a sponge for this, but I'm just going to use my It Cosmetics brush. Oh, that is really nice. Oh my gosh, I like that. Could you imagine some freckles? Like some faux freckles? Oh my goodness, I can't wait to get that. Wow, this blush is beautiful. I'm really liking that. And I didn't even use very much. Like I barely used any. I like that. That is so great. Awesome. Really, really like that. It wasn't like super expensive either. I'm definitely going to be using that again. And then I got this as well. This is the Grande Cosmetics Plumping Liquid Highlighter. And I got this in the shade French Pearl. Um, it's kind of just like a champagne kind of color. It's very, very pretty. And I actually did pick up these as well. And I have already used these. These are from Real Techniques. They're the limited edition, um, like Cashmere Dream. Uh, sponges. So I'm gonna go wet this one again to put on this highlight and then I'll come right back. Can't get over this liner. This liner is so cool. I don't even think I'm gonna do lashes today. Like I was going to but I don't want to like hide this liner. It looks so cool. Here's what that highlight looks like. It's really really pretty. Look at that. That is so reflective. Okay, let's see. How else can I put this on? Maybe like I don't know. I don't know about this one. It's kind of just like sticking. Like it's not really blending out. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. Maybe I'll do it with the finger. Maybe it blends better with your finger. Oh yeah, I think it blends better with your finger for sure. Wow, that's a lot of highlight. Uh oh. Maybe it's a little too much. Oh well. Let's see. I'll be glowing. What do you think? It looks pretty. I don't know about this one yet. I'll have to try it again and try it again. <laughs> and see what I think going forward. I don't know what I feel about this one. It does look pretty once it's on. It looks kind of wet. Like it does look really pretty. So I have to, if you can only use it with your fingers, that's okay. Sometimes that just happens. But with the sponge, it just didn't seem like it was working out very well. Um, but I haven't used a sponge for like foundation or anything yet. So I don't know how that works. This primer, I like this primer so far. Um, it's that Tarte primer. So next, let's just do some mascara. This is actually the Kevin Aquan mascara that I got in my latest BoxyCharm. And yeah, I'm gonna throw some of this on and let you guys know what I think about this because I haven't used this either. Look at that big old applicator though. Look at that. <laughs> That's a dip, my friends. All right, I'm gonna go apply this uh, to my lashes and I'll be right back. Hello, I'm back. Okay, so I've unhindered my eyelashes and my brows off camera. I am not a big fan of that Kevin Aquan mascara, unfortunately. It's not my favorite. It's not the worst thing I've ever tried, obviously, but it's not my favorite thing. Um, I did end up having to, 
Uh, made such a mess. So I did find it to be kinda on the same formula side as the Fenty Beauty mascara, but I really like the Fenty Beauty one. I don't know what the difference is, um, but it is quite a dry formula, but I was going over it multiple times and I just didn't feel like it was doing very much. So I did end up uh, kind of giving up on that one and I used my Lancome Monster Big Mascara for the rest of it. I'll try it again and see maybe my opinions changed. I have no idea, but just for the first impression, it wasn't my favorite mascara of all time. I just noticed it made my lashes look a little bit clumpy, so I had to go in and kind of like take these and like fix them, and it was just a... it took a long time. But that's okay, it happens, and we're gonna move on to the lip now. I thought I had lipstick here, but I don't. Yeah, I do. This is not a first impressions, but I haven't used this in quite some time. This is from ColourPop and Sophia Nygaard. This is the shade Bikini Bottom. Oh, also, one thing I want to mention. <laughs> I was not expecting, now that I look at this again, I do end up liking it, but I was not expecting it to actually have the plumping effect. So basically, when you put this on, this, the highlight is the most intense, but the blush, I can feel it a little bit, but the highlight is super intense and it literally feels like you put like a plumping gloss on my cheeks. Like it literally feels like a plumping, like my cheeks feel cold and like menthol -y. and uh, I was not expecting that to happen. I didn't know it was going to actually feel like plumping stuff. It feels very strange. I don't know if I like the feeling of that, but this does look very nice now that I look at it again, um, but just thought I would tell you that it does feel like a plumping lip gloss on your face. <laughs> and there we go. This is such a beautiful shade. I don't know why I don't wear this shade more. Do I have a gloss that I can put on top? I do. I got these Anastasia glosses right here. I can use this shade, maybe. It's called Nude, but it's N-O-O-D. Nude. That's funny. Mmm! Yeah! Okay. Look at that. And there you go, you guys. This has been the completed look using these new full face of first impressions. This Anastasia palette was great. I literally used two shades. I'm gonna have to play around with it again to really get the full payoff of it because I should have used more than two shades, but I really, really wanted to try out this liner and I love this liner. I really want to get the other three shades that came out. That one sold out super quickly on Sephora. So I knew that I wanted the vibrant shades as well, but I really like this. Um, I think it goes on really well. It kind of has like a putty consistently they get consistently consistency so if you touch it it kind of feels like putty I like this so far and I feel like I got a really nice application and I'm not good at doing my winged liner yeah as you guys know so I feel like using like this kind of brush uh, I was able to really do a better job at doing my winged liner so I don't know what I like this I really like this the palette did great on first application you know it was great I had to play with it more to really know if I like it or not this primer so far, I like it. This is the first time I try it and I have nothing bad to say about it. I think my skin looks really, really nice. These two products right here, love the blush. Love the blush. The highlight, I'm not 100% sure on yet, but uh, I do think that I like it as long as it's applied with your finger. I think that's okay with the, with the sponge. It didn't work all that well. Love the blush though. We'll definitely be keeping the blush and using it again. I liked literally almost everything. That mascara, unfortunately, I did not uh, like very much, but that's okay, it happens, it's not anyone's fault. But that's gonna be the end of the video, guys. I really hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, then go ahead and click up the like button for me and the subscribe if you want to. If you want to see the videos that I post and when I post them, click the little bell down at the bottom there. Again, my name is Kenzie. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.